Welcome, this is the homework solution for the IM1 honors class for the date of 08, August 14, 2018. Alright, so the first problem, 2 and 5, asks you to express each percentage as a fraction or mixed number in simplest form. Okay, for us, uh, make sure that you can put it into a fraction. Okay, you won't deal with a lot with mixed numbers. Okay, so we just want it into a fraction. These are percentages, and we can tell they're percentages because of the percent sign. All right, so 60%, okay, to go from a percentage to a fraction, okay, what do we have to do? We have to, okay, divide that by 100. That is how we get to a percentage. Okay, so uh, 60 divided by 100 can be reduced into, I think there's one more here before this, okay, oh, here, all right, uh, you can reduce, you could pull out a 10, so it becomes 6 over 10, right, you could pull out in, uh, you could pull out a 2, so 6 divided by 2 is 3, 10 divided by 2 is 5, okay, so, but again, I think they pulled out uh, a larger number, they, they pull out the greatest common factor here, right? But I pull out the 10, then I pull out a 2 here, okay? So the greatest common factor out of 60 and 100 was 20. Okay, good. Right? So just wanted to show that extra step. Okay, good. Right? And, right, 3 fifth is perfect. That is your fraction, and that is in simplest form. Next, 78%. Right, to go from percentage to a fraction, you have to divide by 100. That is the rule right here, just divide by 100. Right? Uh, here, the greatest common factor between 78 and 100, they're both even, so you want to, um, you want uh, uh, the, you would say the, the greatest, the greatest common factor here would be 2. 78 divided by 2 is 39. 100 divided by 2 is 50. Okay? That is how you get to 39 over 50. All right. All right. The next problem, using the percent proportion to um, to find each number. One is what percentage of 400? Okay. So it's a little bit confusing, but you have to remember this in class. Okay. This is your first ratio. Okay. Your part over her ratio. Okay. This is the number. On the right hand side is your ratio of your percentage. Okay. Exactly like this. Okay, 60 is six, 60 percent is 60 over 100. 78 is 78 over 100. This is your percent side, and this is your number side. Okay, so to do 19, let's look at this. They say one, then one is your part. What is what percent? So P is your percent. You're trying to find P of 400. 400 is your total. Okay, so I can write that here if you would like. So your part is your one your percent is your unknown okay so p for the variable and your whole would be your 400 in this case okay plug that into your equation cross multiply what i mean by cross multiply is let me color code this for you to make sure you see the cross multiplication much better okay all right 1 times 100, that is this side, then 40, I'm going to make that blue, is times P, right? So that is this side, right? Then to solve for P, you have to divide by 400 to both sides. You can reduce that to equal to 0.25. To put that into percentage form, okay, you just have to put the percent symbol right here, right? So 0.25 goes right here okay you can just also say that is 25 percent good all right let's do the next one they say 49 is 200 percent of what number of what number all right so here 49 is 20 percent of what number all right so 49 is your part 200 percent ooh the 200 should be up here right of what number of what number ooh that this is wrong l l l just look at the wording of it okay 
So here, here let's just look at the wording. Okay. Here, 49 is 200 percent. So 49 here is your part. 200 is your percent, so your P is your 200, and what number? Okay. Oh, this is your hole. Yeah, so this is your hole here. We're actually trying to find the part, okay, of what number? All right, good. All right, so if we plug this in to do the cross multiplication, that is off. So it is 200 times, right? It should be 200 times 49 and 100 times A. So 100 times A, okay? Do that in a calculator to make your life easier, all right? So 49 times 200, that is 49 times 200, that is 98. Okay, and A times 100, right? So you want to now divide by 100 to both sides. Okay, so this should be 98 divided by 100 from here to here. The answer is wrong, right? Because you're trying to find A here. So that's A. That's how you go from this step to this step. Okay, this step to this step. Then you want to divide by the 100, right? So from here to here, you divide by 100. Let's redo that calculation. So uh, 9800 0, 0, divided by 100, that is 98. 98 is your A, okay? Right. So let's look at this. Let's see if it makes sense. 49 is 200% of what number? Hold on, this doesn't make sense. 49 is 200% of, of what number? 49 is 200%. Yeah, that makes sense because 49 times two is 98. Correct, good. Okay, next, uh, let's look at this one. 15 is what percentage of 12? So 15 is what percentage of 12? So 15 is, you're looking for the percentage of 12. Okay. Do you see the word of 400? Right. Of the whole. So let, let me explain something to you here, right? Each time you say of, 400, the number that's next to the of is your whole. So in this case, right, of 12, right? So let's just do that. So your part is your 15, your whole is 12, and your percent is what you're trying to figure out. Good, that's how we set this up perfectly following this setup. Okay, perfect. Cross multiply, 15 times 100, 15 times 100, P times 12, 12P. I'm not going to show the cross multiplication because the last two problem I did it in detail. 15 times 100, which is 1,500, leaving the right hand side free. Getting P alone, divide by 12. You should have 1,500 divided by 12 is 125P. Okay, all right, putting that in here. That would be 125%. That makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. Let me draw. Let me let 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 me draw it out to for you to see for it to, for you to make sense, right? So, oh, sorry. Let me. All right. So, let's draw the circle really quick. Okay. Do you see this? Okay. This is 100%. Right. This is 100%. This 100% in our question, okay, okay, is our whole. So this is equal to this number of 12. 
right? Does that make sense? Okay. Now, so if you want the value 15, if you want the value of 15, you need 12 plus 3, right, is equal to 15, right? So this is 100%. You're going to need you you're going to need an extra piece here. This extra piece is your 25%. Okay? So let me draw another circle here. It's probably going to make sense here once I draw this, right? And I'm going to cut this into four pieces, okay? Because 12 divided by 4 is just what? 3, 3, 3, 3. And each piece is 25%, right? Okay? So, to get this part, let's just fill this red, right? 12 plus 3 is equal to 15. 100 plus... Twenty-five percent, right? Gets as the hundred and twenty-five percent. Okay, I just want to give you a visual here to um, g give you better understanding of number twenty-two. Okay. All right. Next one, thirty-six is what percentage of twenty-four of twenty-four? So twenty-four is the whole, right? So thirty-six is the part, twenty-four is the whole, and per p is the unknown. Right? Good. All right. Same thing, 36 times 100 equals to 24 times P, okay? Here, let me, oop. All right, okay? So 36 times 100 is equal to 24 P. 36 times 100 is 3,600 equals to 24 P divided by 24, you get 150 P or 150 percent. Okay, there you go. Those are all the uh, problems for this homework. If you have any questions, please let me know.